modern hofill networks are performing very good on tabular data when compared to our decision trees or random forest or gradient boosting or cat boost or our light gradient boosting algorithms they are performing very good so now how exactly this hofill networks are able to perform good is because of this three modern layers inside this one is your embedding layer another one is your hopular block another one going to be your summarization block so one of the very important element is this particular hopular block this hopular block com comprises of three multiple consecutive hopular layers so at each cons for example now whatever the input data we have it it going to build at the first uh, hopular network or the first hopular block it going to generate a sample to sample relationship and the next hopular block it is able to generate feature to feature relationship as well as feature to target relationship and whatever the predictions made uh, by this particular thing it going to be aggregated and it going to fine tune for the final prediction so these are the kind of uh, breakthrough results it is able to do 